Hi, I'm going to show you um, a little bit of how to block PHP files. They're on your uh, like website uh, that you don't necessarily want other people to access. Another reason is, let's say someone were to put malware on your website, they were to run some like malicious script, you don't want that script to be accessible so they can't run it and they can't do further damage. Now, the problem with not allowing PHP is if your application is PHP driven, maybe if it's WordPress or something, it's using your index.php file and you need to be able to run at least the files that you need it to be able to work. Anyway, let's um, review a little bit of this and then we can go from there. Anyway, I um, <clears throat> in my little getting started folder, um, I put in a .ht access file and that's what I'm editing right here. I have a Dot, uh, index dot PHP file, which is my uh, website, that I want to be accessible, and I have a test.php that I don't want accessible. So let's go ahead and see what the error is that if they run the test PHP. Now, uh, if I go over to my index page, you can see I have this. I can also type in slash index.php and it also works. Now I get a forbidden so that means that someone cannot run this script and that's perfect. But let's say it's a script that's also important to my page and I need that to run. I can simply write an exception by doing files and where, where are the files located. Just close the files. And I'm going to do an order allow deny and then allow from all. And you can see that now it works. If I change this to something else. You can see that it doesn't work. So this will allow you to really make it so only the files that you need are able to run it. In this case, it's only index.php. And if you're using like a WordPress site, even Magento site, a lot of times what's running behind the scenes is only the index.php file. So this will also work for a WordPress site, even though you have these uh, custom permalinks and everything. Now, another part of this, and I'm not doing this for this demo because I'm running it on my local machine, um, but I like to allow from my localhost. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. Um, I, uh, you can either type in from localhost or you can type in the localhost um, IP, which is 127. whatever. You can also allow from your own IP address. So then that way you're able to run scripts that you not, don't necessarily want other people to run. So maybe an admin page whatever it might be. Um, anyway, if I allow this, now even though my uh, test.php file is forbidden, I can access it because I have this allowed. And you can see if I quickly comment out again, you can see it's gonna be forbidden. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helped. Um, you can simply put in the end of your .htx file it shouldn't conflict with anything else. Um, of course, if you're using other PHP files, uh, a lot of themes use uh, various uh, like uh, scripts that um, use like a, some styling. So make sure you check your console to see if you have any four or four years, uh, and just type in um, the PHP file that is getting blocked, and it'll unblock it for you. Anyway, I um, hope this helped. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.